welcome to Janik. This is the next question. So it's a very good question. So observe this question. A point charge of plus 10 micro coulomb is placed at the placed at a distance of 5 centimeters from the center of a conducting grounded sphere of radius 2 centimeters is shown in the figure. Now this is the figure given. Now what is the charge induced on the conducting sphere? What is the charge induced on the conducting sphere? So, so this is the question you have to observe. So what is meant by this induced? So when the charge will be inducing you have to note that. So what is the question? The question is what we have to find? We have to find the charge induced on the sphere. Till now we didn't say we didn't heard about the charge induction. Okay. There is no charge. There is no term charge inducing. Okay. So now the new term came the charge induced. So when the charge will be induced you have to note this. Okay. So if you when if when the charge is induced it means automatically this problem can be solved. Okay. It is an IES question. Okay. It is an IES question. So observe this. The charge induced in the um, conductor, conducting sphere. So we have to go to the concept that suppose it is what? It is a conducting sphere. Due to this conducting sphere and the, in this conducting sphere, it is the center, but of radius of what? 2 centimeters. Okay. And at a distance of 5 centimeters from the center of the sphere and 10 micro coulombs is placed. So due to this, there will be some induction. He is saying that. Okay. So find that induced charge. So come to the concept. Suppose if you take any point charge plus Q or plus Q or anything. Okay. It is plus Q. Okay. So what happens? The electric field will be, will be radially outward. So we know this. Suppose if you take any conducting surface near to this. If you take any conducting surface near to this. That means it is a conducting surface. It is a conducting surface near to this. Okay. If you take any conducting surface near to this, what happens? The flux will be, we know how the flux will be. The flux will be like this. Okay. It go like this, go like this. But here what happens here is, okay, we won't consider this flux. But here see, observe this. But here the flux lines will be coming like this. The entire flux will be coming like this. Okay. That means what happens? It is reaching this point. Okay. It is reaching this point. So this is the plus Q. Now what happens that if you observe this, it is a grounded conducting surface. See observe this. If you take any grounded conducting, suppose if it is grounded or something else. So to, to make this here the voltage, let us suppose take a grounded conducting sphere. Okay, grounded conducting surface. So to make this, what is the voltage of this? What, what is the voltage of this? For simplicity, I am taking the grounded conducting surface. Okay, to make the voltage here, what happens? So because of this Q, there will be existing some voltage. Okay, but here it is grounded. To make this voltage zero, there must be some amount of negative charge must be there to make this voltage zero. Okay. So that negative charge is placed near this. I'm not going into the deep details. Okay. But here this red marks and red, this red pen gives you the induced 
charge how the direction will be because it is a negative charge the charge will be like this the charge will come here so this is called as induced charge what happens if you take any kind of charge if you take any kind of charge it may be a point charge or a line charge or a sheet charge whatever near to the conducting surface what happens there exist there will be one charge induced okay so this charge is called as induced charge or also called as image charge okay it is also called as image charge suppose if you take that means see this effect will not be visible this effect will not be visible but we have to understand okay so this is the thing you have to notice suppose if you take any point charge near to the conducting surface there exists the induced charge because i am conducting this plane this is a plane okay it is a plane surface suppose if you take any so here if you take any let us suppose this is the under the conducting surface suppose if you take any charge like this line charge like this rho l then there exists a negative line charge like this exact to the image okay suppose if you take any sheet charge like this you will get the the same sheet charge like this so exact image of that so this if it is a royal this will be minus royal if it is a rho s it will be minus rho s okay the same will be induced here so this method is called as the method of images okay then what will be the force between these two what is the force existing between these two the force existing between see the question will be asked what is the force the c if what is the force exerted on the what is the force produced if any point charge is placed near to the conducting surface okay so how we will get the force the force is equal to according to coulomb's law q1 but this thing will not be given this red mark will not be given you have to identify okay because of this conducting surface there will be one thing one negative charge will be induced so here you will get q and minus q divided by 4 pi epsilon r square what is the r square let us suppose it is placed at d distance here also at the same distance it will be placed it will be induced suppose if the charge is d distance from the surface now at the same distance the negative charge also will be induced so what is this d what is the distance between what is the r r is nothing but the distance between the two charges what is the distance between the two charges it is 2d whole square okay so what is the direction now the direction from in this direction okay from positive to negative charge okay it is ar where ar is from what from positive charge to from charge to from charge to towards the plate towards the plate because why i am stressing on this means this type of question is asked in 2014 gate examination okay if you know this concept automatically it will be easy for you so what it will be minus q square divided by 4 pi epsilon this is 4 4 this is 16 pi epsilon d square a r what is this a r direction this a r will be what from the positive charge 
to the towards the plate the force will be from in this direction suppose if you take a negative charge here you will get a positive charge suppose if you take a negative royal here here you will get a positive royal so like that so but the magnitude it will be minus qq one of them is negated okay the distance between here is whatever the distance it is d it is also d so ar is nothing but suppose if you take a negative charge if the negative charge is here the induced charge will be positive now what will be the direction of the force the direction of the force from will be from the conducting surface to the point point charge so like that because the if it is a negative charge it will it is the sink of the electric flux lines if it is a positive charge it is the source of the electric flux lines like this clear if you know this now what happens if there is a conducting surface near to this if you put any charge automatically the negative charge will be induced the opposite charge will be induced okay how much amount of opposite charge the how much amount of the opposite charge means equivalent to the charge you have taken to the plane surface it is only for the plane surface see i have taken this one right rho l minus rho l minus q minus rho s this kind this same amount of charge will be induced only for the plane surface plane conducting surface what if if the shape of the plane changes we can now then we cannot guarantee that the same amount of charge will be produced here suppose if this is curved if the the conducting plane is some curving in nature then we cannot guarantee at the same place the negative charge will be induced and we cannot guarantee the same amount of negative charge will be induced okay so this is the concept you should learn okay if it is a plane surface all will be symmetrical if it is not a plane surface you cannot guarantee the same distance at the same distance the image charge will be induced at the same equal amount of the charge it will be induced okay so this is the concept now come to this question i will, i hope you got it now come to this question so now this is the point charge it is placed near to the conducting surface how much 5 cm so what is the radius this is the 2 cm radius now on this line on this line there exists a positive charge sorry positive not a positive charge there will be some image charge let us suppose at this distance i am getting some q1 charge some q1 charge we got okay so now we know that this is what minus q1 okay negative charge or you can also take positive charge no problem okay let us suppose maybe it is q1 so observe, observe this minus q1 okay so now if you observe this what happens so now we have to find this q1 <coughs> let us suppose at the, the distance from here to this point is from distance from here to the point is this is 2 cm this is entire 2 cm let us suppose this is some a the distance from here to the center is some a at a distance from the center the negative charge is induced now it is given that it is a grounded surface grounded surface means the voltage is zero on this entire surface that means the voltage everywhere is same 
that means the voltage here is same and the voltage here is also same so v point a let us suppose if it is b it is suppose a the va is equals to 0 and vb is also is equals to 0 okay va is equals to 0 and vb is also equals to 0 now what would be the the voltage at the a now point a what happens va is equals to what zero it is from the figure we can identify so what is the voltage due to this point charge the voltage due to this point charge at this place now what is the distance from here to here what is the distance from here to here the distance from here to here is the distance from here to if it is 2 it enter this one is 5 then this will be 3 okay so now the voltage at point a due to this plus 10 micro volts micro coulombs will be equals to what plus 10 10 micro means 10 power minus 6 divided by 4 pi epsilon r r is mean r means what the distance from the point to the point of interest the distance from the point charge to the point of interest so it is a 3 okay so due to this one here is the voltage now there is one more charge is also induced what is this minus q1 so due to this minus q1 also the voltage will be added from the superposition principle okay so it is due to 10 micro coulomb charge so due to minus q1 charge what it will be it will be plus minus q1 divided by 4 pi epsilon the distance from the point charge to the point what is the distance from the point charge to the point it is a from here to here it is a then what it would be this would be this would be 2 minus a so the distance between these two is this is 2 minus a this is equivalent to what 0 it is equivalent to 0 so from this if you simplify this these two will get cancelled this one this one will get cancelled so what happens so q1 is equals to 10 into 10 power minus 6 into 2 minus a divided by 3 okay this is the q1 so if you find q1 it's over see it is at a so how can you find a now see observe this question in this question the entire see the entire surface will be having voltage zero see at here also what what happens at here also the voltage is zero now what is the distance from here to here the distance from here to here it is two centimeters right and what is the distance from here to here suppose it is here also the voltage is zero now i am finding the voltage at here due to this one and due to this one and adding i have to get zero that is the principle okay so due to this one here plus due to this one here it will be zero because everywhere it will be zero if you find due to this one here due to this one here it will become zero if you find the voltage at here due to this one and due to this one it will be zero okay for simplicity i am taking this one so vb is also zero so due to this one what happens 10 into 10 power minus 6 divided by 4 pi epsilon what is the distance between the point charge to the point of interest it is already 5 5 plus 2 it is 7 is equals to sorry plus plus due to this at here so minus q1 divided by 4 pi epsilon what is the distance from here to here the distance from here to here is it is a it is 2 centimeters it is 2 plus a is equals to 0 because 
what is the voltage given so from this what is q1 so q1 is equals to and here these two will get cancelled so q1 is equals to 10 into 10 power minus 6 divided by into 2 plus a divided by 7 this is q1 so if you equate these two what happens this one this one get cancelled okay 2 minus a divided by 3 is equals to 2 plus a divided by 7 so from this this is 14 minus 7a is equals to 6 plus Six plus six plus three a. So from this, this is ten a is equals to eight. So a is equals to zero point eight centimeters. So here the distance we got it is equals to zero point eight centimeters. Okay, we got a. Now you can place everywhere anywhere so now from this what you can get so here the q1 is equals to what the q1 if you place here the q1 is equals to 2 minus 0 point a so this will be 10 power minus 6 10 into 10 power minus 6 2 minus this is 1.2 1.2 divided by 3 this is 4 4 and 0 point uh, 4 0 point 4 into 10 this will be 4 micro coulombs so this is the charge induced here which kind of charge it is a negative charge okay negative charge is induced here okay so because i assume this one suppose if i take plus q i will get directly negative charge okay so here we got the q1 q1 is equals to 4 which kind of charge it must be induced now negative charge must be induced okay so like this we have to use the method of images concept okay there is no difficulty in this simply you have to apply the concept okay thank you